Hey guys, here's my mom. Um, her name is Brenda. I'm gonna ask her a few questions about um, her journey. So first off, I'm gonna start with, um, tell me where you were from and a little bit about your family. Okay, I was born in Murray, Utah. And when I was about uh, three years old, we moved to Idaho on a farm, which I loved because I got to ride horses and do all kinds of fun things. But um, then when I was about 12 years old, my uh, mom and dad got a divorce and we moved back to Salt Lake. And that's when I started school up on Butler Hill, up on 7200 South. And then I went to Hillcrest and got married at 16 <laughs> and uh, divorced at 17 and remarried again at 19. <laughs> Have seven kids. Um, there's mine, his, and ours. And um, Ray went and adopted Scott. Uh, he was from my first marriage. And then we have Ted and Mike from his first marriage. And it's worked out really well. Love them all. So all together you have seven kids. Seven kids. Yes, I know that because she's my mom. But yes. just for your information. <laughs> seven kids. Okay. Um, so where do you think, um, what part of your life do you think that you actually started struggling with your weight? I know that a lot of people think, you know, ah. I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat, but then they look back and they're like, you know what, I wasn't really fat. <laughs> um, or I've gained too much weight or whatever. When when do you think that time in your life was when you started struggling with your weight? Well, after Donnie was born, my third child, then um, I noticed I was starting to put it on having a harder time taking it off because with the first two, it wasn't too hard, you know. But then with him it got harder and harder and you have more kids you're working you're trying to keep everything up so it just got harder then but then after I had Kyle my last one then I was went through a lot of emotional problems about that time my mother was dying I had some few issues with sisters <laughs> and I had a nervous breakdown I also had found out I had mono about that time, Epstein-Barr, and I can look back now and see all the pictures, my face, color, um, just everything about me had changed, and I could see all the weight just coming, you know, it was just getting worse and worse, and so I... Um, no matter what I did, it didn't seem to make any difference. I went on about every diet there was. I did shots. I did the keto thing. I did um, diets with my sister where we'd have to go to this doctor's office and um, weigh every day. And with that one, we did lose, but I did that for Scott's wedding. But then... Um, soon as the wedding was over I gained it all back and I just never could stay on a diet for more than two or three weeks usually because it um, you want normal food again so nobody can really keep that up for very long at a time and so after you yo-yo diet so many times, you gain more. And then it just gets harder and harder. I think most of my life I was about 145. And then after Donnie, I remember I was like 160 pounds. And then I went and maxed out. <laughs> I was going to ask you that. What was yeah. your max? What was your highest weight? 245 pounds is what I was last year and I got to the point where I couldn't hardly walk in a store I heard all the time I was having so many surgeries I had had back surgery two knee replacements two heel surgeries um, 
my esophagus was always closing off. I just, I had to start wearing a CPAP at night. I had to go on oxygen. It was horrible. And I never want to be like that again. And then a friend of mine came over to see me one day, a little over a year ago. And she had had this uh, gastric bypass weight loss surgery. And she said that Medicare paid for it. And she was so excited about it, and she was doing really good. She'd already lost like 60 pounds, I think. And I got excited, and I thought, there's hope. Maybe there's going to be hope for me. And so I got really excited, went to the seminars and everything, and... Um, went to all my doctor's appointments, you have to go to counselors, you have to be weighed, you have to go to a, a nutritionist, you have to do a lot of stuff. But it was the best thing I ever did in my life. I had the, the surgery scheduled for about two weeks, I think it was in January of last year. And I had gone up to spend some time with my sister. <laughs> Bad mistake. <laughs> Wasn't her fault, but we sat there and talked. And she says, are you sure you really want to do this? She says, can you imagine what your skin's going to look like? This is what it looks like. Not bad, guys. <laughs> Yeah, and she was showing, we started looking up pictures online of what people look like afterwards. And, but I wasn't thinking that these were the extreme cases, you know. And so I just started having panic attacks. I said, okay, that's it. I changed my mind. I'm not going to do it. And... I came home, and the hardest thing was to tell Chantel. Because <laughs> she's always been my biggest supporter to lose weight and be healthy. So I told her, and she took it pretty well, I thought. And then it was a week or two later, we were over at her house. And for some reason, I was in the front room with Travis, and we were talking. And... He says, why did you change your mind? And I told him. He says, do you know that your daughter thinks you're going to die? I said, what? And he says, yeah. She thinks you're going to die because your health has gone down so fast. And she just doesn't think you're going to be around longer. And I said, I had no idea that she thought that it was going to be, you know, that I was getting that bad. And so by the time I left there, I was driving home. I called the doctor's office and said I wanted to reschedule. By February 18th, I had my surgery, and it was the best thing I ever did in my life. Of last year, right? Yes, of last year. It's been 11 months. So almost a year. And I've lost 83 pounds, I think. And I'm off oxygen. I'm off a lot of my different medicines. My heels don't hurt anymore. Um, I still have back pain, but other than that, and that's something that can be fixed. But it's been wonderful. It really has. Um, everybody said that you would have so much stomach pain. I didn't have that after the surgery. I've seen some bad things that's happened to people, but um, it hasn't been a problem for me. And I can walk. I can move. I'm interested in things again. I can go to Walmart. <laughs> Do you have your... Um before picture, one of your before pictures. I know you're super excited about this part of the interview to show this picture. And by the way, I'm not trying to um, promote um, the stomach surgery or anything like that. I just um, am super proud of my mom <laughs> for um, taking the steps to do what she needed to do. I feel like it was a, a last resort for her 
that she had tried all the other things and it was really hard um, with all of her surgeries to do the exercise that needed to be done to get the weight off. And so um, with that, here's the picture. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, move it over this way a little into the shade. This is cell phone to cell phone, so it's kind of hard to see, but here's the picture of before. And this was about eight months ago. That's awesome. Amazing. Good job, Bob. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your story. I love yeah. you. Love you too, honey.